light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to be working on an old chair that I got from the thrift store for a dollar I'm going to sand the whole thing down and clean it This chair is really old and ugly. I'm sure that's why it was sold for a dollar. I'll be using this hula hoop to give me a circular shape for my chair design. And I'll be attaching the hoop at the top and somewhere right here. And I'll be using screws to attach them together. The wrap around the hoop was hard to come off, so I just left it there. Because in the end, after spray painting, it won't be that noticeable. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I got wooden dowels from Walmart and then cut them down to size that I'll be using to attach them besides the chair all in different heights. I pre-drilled holes in all of the dowels with my drill gun to make it easy for me to attach the dowels to the chair. This is what it looks like. Now to give a continuous flow from the chair to the dowels, I got an embroidery hoop and I'm going to be cutting it into a small piece and having two to make it thick enough and then attaching it to the chair and the dowels. Like I said, I'll be gluing two pieces together to make it thick enough to give it a continuous flow from the chair to the dolls. I attach these pieces on both sides using a strong adhesive. For the first design, I'm going to be using these frames that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'll be cutting them into half using a soldering iron. I then pre-drilled holes with my drill gun on the frame to make it easy for me to attach them to the chair. Now the screw heads that are showing is going to be covered with gems. And then I decided to just add more on the edges that were rough. For an additional design to the chair, I'm going to be using silver beads. I'm going to be increasing the length just a bit so that it will be long enough for me to attach it from the top to the bottom of the seat of the chair. Using a hot glue gun and then a strong adhesive when I'm done. I'll be attaching all these beads using zip ties. I'll use a zip tie to hold it at the top here and then two at the bottom. This is one that I've done and now I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be inserting the zip ties and wrapping it around the chair. And it's not going to be noticeable at all because it's going to be hiding. I'm just going to put it in here and lock it at the back. The zip ties at the bottom is visible but then it's going to be covered with the seating that I'll be making for the chair. If you're going to be making this design, you're going to have to use a strong adhesive 
where you have the zip ties but because i'm going to be making another design with it i'm just going to leave it the way it is to make it easy for me to take it off Because the zip ties at the bottom is showing too much, I had to spray paint it silver. I forgot to tell you guys that I added half of a frame at the bottom here. For the sitting, I measured out the shape and then cut it on a board and cut three pieces and glued them together. I glued one inch foam on top of it and I'll be making a tufted seating with it. Now the video at the top left is an example of what I did before I achieved my tufted seating and the link for that video is going to be in the description box below and also at the top right. Now this is the finished look of the first design. Now I made this because I have someone asking me about a chair that can be used for ceremonies and I think this is good enough because she insisted on glam and I think this is okay because of course it's a chair but you can definitely add more glam if you like. Now for the second design, I removed all the attachments and then sprayed the lower parts of the chair gold. And then I took pieces of my one inch foam that I can use for the project. I'm gluing these pieces around the chair using a hot glue gun. And then I'm going to be cutting the foam to the shape of the chair. I randomly made points for tufting. And I made sure that all the points were going to be where the wood that's on the chair is located at. I'll be cutting out the holes with a pair of scissors. After removing the foam, you can see the wood that's under there. You have to make sure that you have your wood right where you want to be doing your tufting. After I was done, I made sure that I can see the wood under the holes. Now I'm going to be using my drill gun to pre-drill holes inside the wood to make it easy for me to attach the screws to the wood. These are the screws that I'll be using for the tufting. And you see the screw head is different. I will advise you use the flat head screws and not this one. I use this because I ran out of the flat screw head. Now these are washers and I'm going to be using this leftover fabric because I decided to use more items that I already have at home. Now the screw is going to go into the washer. That's what I'm going to be doing all through the project. My tufting won't come out as nice as I want it to only because I was trying to make sure that it's on the wood that's attached to the chair. My leftover fabric was not wide enough for the sides, but then I had more than enough for the back. So I'm going to work around this opening that I have here and I'll be using this trim that I got from Walmart and gluing it like this. I glued four cutout pieces together and this is what it looks like. And I did that for both sides. Now this is the back of the chair and I covered it up with fabric. I spray painted some gems gold and that's what I used to cover up the screw heads. Now I'm gonna be using the seating for the first design and this is how everything looks like together. Because everything done in this design seems more permanent than the first design, this is what I'm going to be keeping and I love it because it's white and gold. I wanted a lot of tufting for this design, but like I said before, it is because I was restricted to making sure that each of the tufts falls on the wood that's on the chair. So it turned out this way. Now this is what the first design looks like and you can pick whichever design you like depending on your style or you can go for the second design it's all up to you now this is just an idea on how to make a corner side or accent cheer for the home on a budget 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.